What's up guys, Michael here from twitch.tv slash slay3d. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to set up and use TSM Sniper and I'm also going to teach you guys how to set up and use the selling operations that allow you to sell all of the things that you are going to be buying from the auction house um, efficiently and quickly without having to manually post it all um, like look up all the prices for how much it's all going to be worth and manually post it yourself. The way I'm going to teach you to do it is everything's going to be almost automated. It's going to be really sweet. So I'm going to divide this um, series up into two different videos. First one's going to be showing you guys how to do CSM Sniper, and the second one's going to be showing you guys how to do the selling operations. Now, some of you may not know what TSM Sniper is, so I'm just going to give you an example of what it is pretty pretty much. What it is is you have like a guy who just sits in the auction house, right? He just literally just sits in here in the auction house, okay? And he waits for, um, he like, it, it scans the last page of the auction house for expensive things to be posted. Like, look at all this expensive stuff in my inventory, right? Um, it scans the auction house for really expensive stuff that's posted way less than it's worth. As soon as somebody posts something for less than it's worth, you're going to see it and you'll have a chance to buy it before someone else will. So to give you guys an easier example to understand what I'm saying, like, just a couple of days ago, somebody posted a legendary item, crafted legendary item level 940 for like, what, 140 gold? And I snatched it probably almost as quick as he posted it. Like, I snatched it, right? That night, I posted it for 180,000 gold, and I had the mail in my mailbox by the next morning. If you don't believe me, I have a video of mine and Amber's live reaction doing it. So I literally made like almost two months worth of wild time off of one flip from the auction house. So, I mean, this is how we've made the majority of our gold in WoW. We also do gold farms, but TSM Sniper is where we've made an insane amount of gold in WoW. So, that being said, like, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to actually set this up. So, pastebin.com slash you slash Shayra. This is, uh, this is Shayra's pastebin. Um, Zionic and Shayra, they're YouTubers. They're, they're more like Twitch streamers than they are YouTubers, but they do have a YouTube channel. But she has her paste bin here, and she has her sniper set up here, um, which is actually the work of Billis on Nixia. But we're going to get right into it. I'm going to literally walk you guys through from, from the ground up how to start setting this up, how to set it up, and how to make sure that it's working properly. Because my last video that I did on this, a lot of people were having errors, so I just want to make sure everyone gets this right. So we're on the sniper setup page. This is the work created by someone else, Billis, Onyxia, so on and so forth. Pretty much the first thing that this says is to make sure that you have all of the um, TSM modules installed or you're going to have errors. So go to Curse or what's now known as Twitch. I guess they, I believe they merged. Go on down to your WoW tab and make sure that you have Trade Skill Master downloaded. Okay. And then you're going to want um, Trade Skill Master accounting, auction DB auctioning shopping mailing destroying um you're going to want all of these that you see that i have installed some of these are like outdated and aren't used anymore but you're going to need most of these the second thing that you're going to need is um tsm desktop application um let's go ahead and find that real quick trade desktop application overview slash download Trade School Master Desktop Application. What the heck is this, right? That's what you guys are wondering. Um, well, Trade School Master Desktop Application is this. It runs in the background of your computer. It's just a program. It's not an add-on. It's a computer. And it's constantly scanning the auction house um, for not only your server, which you'll have to set this up when you're creating an account, but also for, like, all the realms, right? Like, all of them. So... This is where your sniper and the selling operations, which we'll go over in the future, pulls its prices from. You want to leave this running 24-7. Make sure it's updated. Like mine last updated at 10.51 p.m., which was like, you know, an hour ago or so, almost an hour ago. So um, you guys can see the importance of this. Like you can't do this without Trade Skill Master desktop application. Make sure you get this. Get it set up. Um, you'll have to sign up, make an account and all that, but get it and install it and make sure it is running. So once you got all the TSM 
um, add-ons installed and you have the desktop application then you're going to need to set it up and this is actually like you can make this really complicated but it's actually really simple guys basically all you do step number one is go into TSM and set up a custom price source and title it min price without the quotation marks of course once you set this up as a custom price source min price you're going to want to paste this string now what does this string mean what does this string mean pretty much don't worry about it because the more you worry about it what it means the more complicated this gets and we're trying to keep it simple so um, just know that it is the best settings for sniper okay so we're gonna hit enter slash TSM type slash TSM in chat hit enter again and then we're going to go to um, custom price sources right here sources custom price source name now you know to name this min price don't name it min price with two E's and a four six five or whatever on the end just min price okay the reason why is because we're gonna pull this later and we're gonna copy paste and we have an exact string with min price in it so click OK and then this is gonna pull up um, custom price for this source this is where you want to paste the custom price source that we saw earlier so you copied that earlier and you paste it here right um, but you cannot hold right click and click paste here you can't press right click and click paste you have to actually hold control V V as in very um, because you don't have the option to paste with clicking your mouse now the only reason why I'm saying this is because in my last video I actually had someone who didn't know how to paste without um, without with using the keyboard command so control V will paste it then click OK go ahead and close this out press enter type slash reload you want to reload after everything you do when you're setting this up to make sure there's no errors and to make sure that everything actually registers well right alright cool she even Shara says reload your UI the second thing that you want to do is go to the options button um, yada 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 we're going to go into the sniper settings um, on the TSM module and we're going to um, paste this string there that's what we're going to do so if you guys want to read everything you can go to shares paste bin but I'm going to show you guys what you do so you just copy this this string right here and again I'm going to post this in the um, the link in the description below my video not the link but the description box I'm going to have this posted in there and uh, that way it's easy access for you guys but we're just going to hit enter uh oh enter slash TSM and then we're going to go to options we're going to go down here under module options we're going to go to shopping and there there is um, there's sniper operations right here right so I got it set let me go ahead and delete this I thought I cleared this out for the purpose of the video let me go ahead and delete this just so you guys can see like fresh from the beginning everything fresh right alright so I got cash register selected um, it was on nothing but it was on no sound I put it on cash register just because whenever somebody posts something that I can make a profit from potentially make a profit from it'll go and it makes a money sound and I get excited and I think oh my god I could make some money here right so you can set it to whatever you want there's you know there's different things but um, I like I like um, playing on cash register so cool below custom price okay this is where you paste in your string so hold down control press V again boom click OK that's it TSM sniper is set up now all you have to do to use it is um, go over here to the auctioneer right click on them hit custom filter slash other searches and hit start sniper this will immediately start searching the auction house for good um, good items to buy like it, it searches the last page so everything that's being posted as soon as something's posted it's going to show up here and you're going to have a chance to snag it as soon as it pops up before anyone else does so you will be able to um, somebody's posting a chat Hey Slade, I'm a big fan, and they they made a new character. His name is Hey Slade. <laughs> anyway, um, you're gonna have a chance to snag it. <laughs> you're gonna have a chance to snag it before anyone else does. Okay, I'm gonna have to like move this because it's distracting me. But um, yeah.
So that's how it works. So if, if somebody posted a legendary item for like 200 gold right here, right now, I'll snatch it as quick as I can, right? As long as I had the gold. One common question I get is how much gold do I need to start doing sniper? Guys, I bought a 180,000 gold. Um, I bought a 180,000 gold legendary for 140 gold. Um, I've bought 10,000 gold transmog for like five gold before. Okay, you don't need very much gold to um, to get started. You can start with as low as five gold. You can start with as low as 100 gold. You can start with 100,000 gold. What are some of the items that I buy? Like what are some of the items to look for? Well, this is my bags right here. So let's go ahead and look and see what I buy, okay? Mostly I get these high item, um, these epics, like the high BOE epics in Legion, like this item level 900. Um, anywhere from eight, 800 to 900, even though you gotta be careful with like the 840 and below stuff because of the, um, the latest 7.2 patch. It made some of that stuff drop in value. So be careful when you're looking for that. But mostly high end, high end, um, BOE epics. Um, I also get some transmog, like this thing right here. Market value is 848 gold. I probably give like five gold for that, guys. Like, same thing with all my transmog. I give like less than 100 gold for it all. Um, deviant hatchling, so I get pets sometimes. You never know, like, you never know what I'm gonna get. Pretty much the short answer to what do I look for when I'm sniping, I look for things that are posted for cheaper than what I can sell them for. And I make a profit, whether it's gear, pets, um, mats, whatever. So I rarely see mats. Every now and then somebody will post them some materials low enough for me to make a profit on, but I'd say 99.9% .9 of the things that I get when sniping are going to be BOE epics, um, from Legion, like high end, um, gear, uh, transmog and pets. And that's pretty much, that's it guys. That's all I snipe. And like a lot of people say, Oh, well, I've sit here for an hour before and didn't see anything. I mean, you guys see that we've been sitting here for a few minutes and not a single thing's been posted. So, like, it's it, you have to be patient with this. I would not recommend downloading Sniper and just sitting here and staring at your screen. Oh, you're going to get bored as shit. You're going to get really discouraged. You're not going to get something to pop up every 30 seconds. Like, it doesn't work that way. It's not instant gratification. You have to be patient, okay? If you only have one WoW account, you could probably set a movie on your second monitor or whatever and have it sitting on this one. And while you're watching the movie or watching your TV show, have Sniper up and get ready to snag stuff. Hey, can you go get the cats? Quit playing with a toy because I know they can hear it in the background of the video. Um, but yeah, but what I actually do, and I wish I could show you guys. Um, well, I guess actually I kind of could show y'all as long as my webcam will reach this far. Hope y'all can see this. Like, this is my main monitor, and then I got a second monitor right there. So one monitor, one monitor is right here, and then right beside it, I got a second monitor, right? So. I um I actually have two WoW accounts open. Like all you have to do is open Battle.net and you can launch two WoW applications. So think about it. If you're on US Realm, I'm pretty sure that um a WoW token is only a hundred thousand gold. Hundred thousand gold, right? Guys, I made a hundred and eighty thousand gold off of one snipe. So go ahead, if you have a second monitor, or even if you don't, you can hold alt and press tab whenever you hear the ding notification that something popped up that you could potentially snipe. You can, um, I, but you can do that if you only have one monitor, but it's best to have two. So while you're actually playing WoW, whether you're gold farming or whether you are, um, um, raiding or we're doing your world quest or whatever you're doing in WoW, have TSM Sniper up on your second monitor, okay? And whenever something like, whenever something goes off, you can see it right there. And don't worry, oh, now I gotta pay for WoW twice a month. No, you don't. That's the whole point of doing this because WoW, if you're on US Realm, it's only 100,000 gold. I don't know what it is for European and Asian or whatever the other servers are. But, what? Asian servers, I heard it was like 300,000 gold or something. Seriously, I heard something crazy. But think about it. If you can make 200,000 gold in a whole month, you're going to pay for your WoW account and you're going to pay for your Sniper account. I swear to you guys, if you don't make a million gold within two to three weeks, what I see, what do we got here? Starlight Rose Seed. See, something got posted. Aethril Seed. See, now I know from looking at this stuff, not to buy it. Because check it out. 
this is a good I mean, this is a good example. Men buyout. You guys see it says the percentage of the market value is thirty six percent. So market value is one hundred ninety seven gold. So seventy one gold is thirty six percent. So to the untrained eye, you might think that you can sell this for a profit, right? But I know because I'm looking at the men buyout. Look at the men buyout. Minimum buyout on my server right now for an eighth will seed is seventy five gold. So if I buy this one from seven for seventy one gold. Then I'm only gonna like I'm gonna undercut if I undercut the next guy who has it listed I'm only gonna get him by 75 gold, right? So you want to make sure like just because it has a low percentage market value, if you are unsure and you don't know a lot about the item, you want to highlight it and you want to look at the min buyout because the min buyout shows what the cheapest one posted on your server is at this exact very moment, as long as assuming your TSM desktop application is updated, right? Um, what was I saying before I got off track on that? Oh, pretty much what I'm saying is you want like, like having two monitors is important, guys. Having two monitors because like look how long I've been waiting and I still hadn't got anything good, right? Right? But like if you're raiding or you're world questing, you're keeping yourself occupied in WoW, then you're not even gonna be thinking about it. It's gonna be over here on your second monitor. You're not even gonna be thinking about it. You're gonna be playing. You're gonna be two hours into the game, and next thing you know, you see a freaking hundred eighty thousand to three hundred thousand gold legendary posted for hundred and forty gold. You snatch it, and then you do your celebration dance. You do your happy dance because you just struck gold. All right, literally, you just you just struck some gold like like wild gold. Um, at this point, though, oh, what's that? Gym chip. See, I could snatch that up for three silver. Somebody just posted a gym chip for three silver. I don't know much about it. I bet it's already gone, probably. Yep, see, somebody sniped it. Some, that's how fast you got to be. Somebody already snagged it. If it was something that was crazy profit, I would have bought it. But um, Anyway, guys, I hope that this video clarifies some things for you. I hope that um, I hope that it uh, um, you know answers a lot of questions I've been getting. Um, now I'm getting ready to make the second video that shows you guys how to sell all this crap that's in your bags once you snipe it all. How you how do you sell it? Because you don't like even if you do 48 hour listings, you don't want to like constantly be checking the prices and reset and do. You want it to be automated. So with my next video that I'm about to do right now, I'm going. <laughs> wow, alcoholic. I'm going to. Um, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do that. So if this video helped you guys out, and I'm sure it helped out many of you, please hit the like button. Um, oh, oh, hold on, hold on now. We got a vintage dust watch cinch here. We're gonna we're gonna pass on that one, even though men buys men buys thirty five hundred gold. Um, I don't want to mess with it for only five hundred gold. Let's see here. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna pass on that stuff, guys. But if this video helped you out, drop the like button. Drop the like button. Don't drop the like button. It might stub your toe. Press the like button. Leave me a comment. Subscribe to our channel. We got gold making videos and advice and tutorials and tips and all kinds of other cool things and gadgets and stuff coming out every day. And hang out with me and Amber live on our stream. www.twitch.tv slash Slay3D. We'll see you guys.